everyone. Thanks for watching 10 Minute Vegan. Today we're making a fantastic wilted radicchio pizza with truffle oil. Let's get started. So here we have our ingredients, and obviously we're going to start with some radicchio. You can use one medium head or two small heads like this. You'll also need a pizza crust. This is the rustic crust, all natural, and you can see Sharon and I have selected the Tuscan six grain variety. We've tried a few, and this is one of our favorites. You'll also need some extra virgin olive oil. And the key to the decadent flavor of the radicchio is the white truffle oil. Here's a variety that we found at Whole Foods. We really like it. And of course, no pizza would be complete without some grated Parmesan topping. But instead, we use this uh, great rice topping. So let's get started prepping the pizza. Now that we've preheated our oven 415 degrees, we're going to place the crust in on the middle rack and bake for about seven minutes, or until golden brown, just around the edges. So what you want to do is you want to slice the cabbage here into very thin strips. Now I've already washed this cabbage, uh, so what we want to do is actually cut the cabbage straight down the middle right in half, and then you want to take it from top to bottom and do another uh, halving. So you end up with quarters of your cabbage. See that? And now watch what's so cool when you start to cut this, is when you start cutting it this way, you end up with these great little tiny ribbons that just kind of pop out. You see that? Now, the thinner you can slice these, the better. All right, now that we have our cabbage cut, we're going to transfer it to a large bowl. Now it's time to add some oil. We're going to actually start with one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, two teaspoons of truffle oil. The truffle oil is one of those things you're going to want to do uh, to taste. The first time we made this recipe, we had a little more, the second time a little less, and we kind of settled on uh, between two and three uh, teaspoons of the truffle oil. And now we'll toss, we will toss the, the oil and the truffle and the radicchio together. We're going to also use some fresh ground pepper and some salt. It's probably about four or five grinds with the salt, and then we'll toss again. And here we have our tossed radicchio. Looks great, it smells great. Now, here we are just waiting for the pizza to turn golden brown. It's been there in there about four minutes, five minutes maybe, and the crust is just beginning to turn a little bit golden brown on the edges, so we're going to pull it out in just a moment. And here we go, we're going to pull the pizza out. Okay, now that we have our pizza out of the oven, we're going to pile on the radicchio. And just basically you want to spread it around real nice. Get it evenly covering the pizza edge to edge. We don't actually leave much in the way of a crust. Oops. And there you have it. So this is about that tall right now. And when it wilts down, it's going to be the height of a regular pizza. Hmm. We're going to load this back into the oven now. You're going to want to place the pizza back in the oven for about two to three more minutes to wilt the radicchio. In case you didn't notice, we have a sustainable all bamboo cutting board. 
It's a great uh, sustainable wood. And it's a great cutting surface. Now to cut the pizza, you'll either want to use scissors or a pizza cutter. Generally speaking with the radicchio, it's best to use scissors. And there we have it. And here we are. We're going to sprinkle some of this great Galaxy Foods rice topping on top of the pizza. As you can see, we're having a romaine mushroom toasted pine nuts uh, and arugula salad on the side with the pizza here. And now the best part, we're going to eat it. Thanks for watching 10 Minute Vegan.